Apple Insider has exclusive details about what's coming in iOS 18, iPadOS 18, and macOS 15 across several different core apps. These reports come from our very own Marko Zhivkovic. Let's talk about it. To start, Apple will be addressing a long time pain point by more tightly integrating the reminders in the calendar apps. They'll still be two separate applications, but now you'll have the ability to create a reminder from inside both applications, no more having to juggle between the two. If you're in the calendar app, you can now create a reminder on a certain day or time, then it'll be automatically scheduled for that day and time. You'll be able to give it both a title as well as a tag. This should help make similar reminders easier to find, both for you and your new improved digital assistant Get subscribed for that one. WWDC is right around the corner. Of course, reminders or events created from either app sync with iCloud and on device. You don't need to worry about creating a reminder while in your calendar and then not having it show up inside of reminders or vice versa. A new filter from within calendar can reveal only these scheduled reminders. I feel like I've said reminders way too many times. Let's pivot and talk about notes. Apple is looking to build in native support for audio recordings. You could always add audio to a note, but now you'll be able to record it without having to launch another app first, similar to how voice memos work. Since these recordings will be directly inside of the note, users can then add images or text alongside the audio recordings to help flush out context. Of course, since we're in the midst of Apple's big AI push, audio transcription will be available as well. This could turn notes into the ultimate app for students, allowing them to record a lecture directly and then add pictures of whiteboards or supplementary material alongside it, keeping everything neatly in a single place. Let me know down below in the comments if you use Apple Notes app already or if these features will get you to try it again. Finally, people familiar with the software have told Apple Insider that there will be an added Math Notes feature. It will usher in support for displaying proper mathematical notation and essential shorthand for academic, science, and engineering applications. Users will then be able to jump from their notes directly into a revamped calculator app. Speaking of which, Apple Insider first reported on Project Gray Parrot, Apple's revamped calculator app coming to macOS 15. Subsequently, Mac Rumors reported that it will be coming to the iPad for the first time as well. The mad lads did it. The updated calculator will now be a universal app and available with similar features across iOS, iPadOS, and macOS. This includes iCloud Sync. The update will have a revamped history timeline, allowing users to open a left-hand sidebar with a breakdown of all the recent calculations done. This will then populate across all a user's devices automatically. Other features for Calculator include the aforementioned Math Notes functionality and an improved unit conversion system that works on the fly. No need to convert or normalize your units ahead of time. Finally, what I'm most excited for, improvements to Safari, Apple's excellent web browser. The first feature to break down is an AI-based summary tool. This will live in the revamp search bar menu and will give the user an easily consumable synopsis of a page's contents. Maybe this will help stop some of you from only reading the headlines. This is apparently leveraging Apple's on-device AJAC language learning model to identify topics and phrases that are of note. I'm already using a similar feature on third-party apps like the exceptional Arc browser and Bulletin Newsfeed. I'd love to see how Apple approaches it. The next feature is a bit controversial, even before it launches. It's called Web Eraser, and as you can guess from the name, it'll be used to erase portions of a website. You just draw a selection rectangle and poof, gone. Users could choose to block images, videos, or even ads. It appears this feature is persistent too, which means every time you visit the site, it remembers those preferences. Did Apple really just build an ad blocker? Oh, and Apple's also looking to integrate a visual search feature directly into the browser. This would function similar to how it works in Siri, but leverage their new on-device AI models to identify and search for the contents of images. This is only scratching the surface of what iOS 18 has to offer. There will be a huge push for more AI features, and it's being described as the most substantial update to the iPhone software yet.
Make sure you're subscribed to Apple Insider with those notifications turned on so I can keep you up to date with all the latest features and rumors.